Story of two buildings. Story of two buildings. There are more than one way do I like uh, do I say that. There's multiple build. I think there's two, maybe three buildings that have a similar footprint. North and south. They switch plans out frequently. And uh, what's important about is this building failure and looking at it and thinking about the demolition tonight, 10 o'clock to 3 in the morning, something like that. Second floor framing is what makes this a story of two buildings. This is the collapse section, and you see that it's the second floor, they use no tie beams to tie in all these columns. They just use the concrete, this is the floor. Just a floor going across, just like the pool deck. Just like the pool deck, it transferred right on over and came on, came over to uh, the desktop, right. Surfside, surfside, surfside. That's the rollover butterfly. Just like the pool, the pool deck. Comes over, it meets the columns, and then comes over and meets the lobby floor. And when this deck came down, as we talked about it many times, it made it over. We know it made it all the way over because we see a video of it via the driveway where the rest of the deck fell down. And they're two different elevations. So we, we know it's the, the one uh, that people that got out and people made phone calls reporting how the pool was caving in or the pool. Obviously, they meant pool deck area, and then we have a video of the part of the uh, flooring in here that's collapsed. I think it's integral in that path from here. Just going to be summarizing for you guys again. In that path uh, through through here, this is a porch. We're on the second floor now. Through this way, and this is where we see the ramp down below. And so this deck failure. It starts out there by the pool deck. Pool comes all the way across. Could it have started this way and come, gone the other direction? It's it's quite possible that it went this direction and went all the way through. You'd have to have some cracking inside. It would identify that. I think the number one thing would be the cracking of the. And I did a video on that. The the, the floor where you see me climb on that piece of plywood and the integral uh, piece of metal I stapled together. That's what we're looking at roughly. So somewhere we have to find that, that beginning crack between these two columns. Not these two, but any of these columns out here. They get us going all the way down here. That ripple effect all the way down. Ripping off. And that going, once it, go, once it went through there, these, this shaking of the building caused, uh, I believe, this one to buckle first. And then we look at the collapse and it's, it's sort of from the top floor over. But we have the story of two buildings here because the second floor, we see that it's reinforced. There have beams beyond beams supporting this side on the second floor. Same second floor over here. It's a different structure. You know, the parking garage, yes, you go down. This one, they went, they went up. And they, uh, it's just a different structure. It's over here. It's, it's beam after beam. Now, I understand they are, uh, that they are, um, Dug, they they bored holes. I don't know if that means it in the earth or in the building, in the columns themselves, and in the beams themselves to blast these beams. I wonder what kind of blast blankets, if anything at all. They just don't care, or are they going to be hoping that all the detonation goes one direction. I think they they wrap. They're going to be wrapping these columns with the blast blankets, rubber, etc. But to keep it con confined to this area but I don't see them I looked at the images I don't see them taking out any windows on the on any of the floors so it appears they're pretty confident that they're going to keep the blast confined within the uh, inside the building inside the building so what would you do would you could you do that out here the columns out here or would you blast internally here causing this to, to fall inward so you would take out the center in this say this section so let's see we have support 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 if you would blast these right these two and cause the columns to fail these would lean in and this side would lean in so this would lean in and this side of the structure would lean in so taking out these two columns you create this this uh, unsupported span and so the it would rock in collapse inward so if you could take out these two columns all the way up, oops, sorry, all the way up, you have unsupported span between here and here because they lost the support. The building would, would 
both sides would fall towards this, the, uh, depending on the loads, would fall this direction. Um, but you need to pull this one over too. So you would take, I think you would take out all three of these, and now the unsupported span is from here to here, and it'd want to rotate inwards. Um, would you want a cantilever effect to make it help take it out so you would take the center one out? Now that's that as your first blast. Now your now your load your stress is already wanting the structure to buckle inwards. Then you take out the next set of row, and now once the stressors are from here to here, and now they both they want to implode um, inwards, and so this side would want to implode in, and this side would want to implode in. That's how I could see how you could get the structure to. Um, sorry, let's see where the image. That's how I could see where you can get the structure to stay in this section, to stay inside this footprint here. That would be that section. Let's see if we can do the same here. This one's sort of standing by itself. You hope that the rebar reinforcer can tug this over if you would do the same thing. Here's a, if you take out the center column, you'd hope that the uh, unsupported span would go from here to here and, and have it pull this wall over and pull that one over to the center line um, because the unsuspan, unsupported span being the, the, the decking would, would butterfly down. So you use the butterflying uh, that we talked about in a previous video to help you butterfly down and create the split. And then we have a small section out here, and you would do the same thing here between these three. You would make the span, um, well, here's two. There's, there's two in the middle. So you would have to take these two out, the columns, and that would make the unsupported span between the two, and then it would want to cave inwards there. And I believe the same thing here, uh, the column there, but, but this looks like it might go towards the street. So you might want to turn and go the other direction. To make this this grouping, let's see, one, two, hmm. these aren't in line here. This could be a nice little grouping here. If you took this one out, um, the unsupported span would be from here to here, taking out the column only, and then it would uh, want to uh, bow inwards, uh, butterfly inwards, right? Same thing here again. These three, I'm thinking at. So this one, this would cause this outward to bow inward. So we get this section. Bowing in, coming inwards. I'm trying to think, what if you did it this this direction, and you took out the center column? You might be able to get all 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 four side four side four the triangulation to to come in. This one, I don't like this one. This one here is pretty damn strong. It looks like that would be an issue there. Um, so that's the way I see it right now. Just so you guys can see it, you want to get rid of the unsupported span you want to make it larger unsupported spans and it would want to uh, fall into that larger span so this one if again if you eliminate this one this wants to collapse inwards but we're talking um, probably most of the floors simultaneously if, if they've already been inside uh, which is weird because they said the building is in danger of collapse but obviously it's not because uh, insurance companies obviously insuring this company to go inside this building, so it seems a little something a little weird about this, that they're saying the building's in danger of the workers killing the workers, but then they can send in a demolition crew. Did they go inside? That's the question. If not, were they out here? And and is that still? If it's dangerous for the crew to be out there, isn't it dangerous for the demolition crew to be here? So, what kind of insurance company is insuring that? That, uh, that will allow that to take place. So I would say the narrative that it's an eminent collapse appears, eminent collapse appears to be a little bit of a fudge story based on the workers, uh, if, they're, if, they're, if they're boring the columns and things like that, really. You know, and it seems this is more a, uh, more a, we're not gonna be a hard rock cafe, we're not gonna leave it up that long, we already learned a last lesson from the hard rock, uh, the hard rock, uh, building collapse. We've already learned that lesson. Get the thing on the ground fast. You know, don't don't think about, you know, get it over with. So it seems like they've learned from that and they're jumping on it. Um, does anyone see cracking in this structure over here? Do you see cracking in the columns indicating that the tensions and if this cracking over here indicating is rocking? 
I mean, there's a lot of support here. Where, where are they claiming, so what they said, sensors went off. Where are they claiming this building's shifting? That second floor, strong as a friggin' bear. Where are they claiming it's shifting? I don't, I couldn't find that anywhere, nor, uh, so I'm, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I couldn't find it. Again, the second floor, this, the story of two buildings, this second floor compared to this second floor, and you see why you get such a progressive collapse. There's just, there are no beams really tying this together. This is all flooring tying this together. And over here, they have some rigidity of beams. And then from there, they switch over to the flooring system. Um, this goes all the way up. I, I, these, these, this flooring system is the second floor plan. The, uh, let me see if I can help you out with something here. Give me a second here. Um, so your your step up. So the streets over here. Here's your thirteen four. That's your first floor plan there. And over here, your first floor plan is elevation is ten ten ten. And so you can see where it's a, a story of two buildings again, um, elevation wise. And I want to show you something else. Now, can they take it out at the bottom there and cause that, that collapse? Well, the second floor again is so is so reinforced. They have to, even if they try if they try to take it out at the basement level, the second floor has got that redundancy of a of an of a of a floor pan, if you will, floor deck. So it's um they, they got to work on that second floor. The second floor is going to be crucial to taking down this structure. Uh, not, not the uh, you, you're just not going to get it at the base. I mean, the control that they want at the base. Um, let me think about that. So let me try to to to, sh to to overlay it for you. So let's just grab. Um, Let's grab the, uh, the so here here are the beams uh, the post uh, columns here in column here and they go down to the to the basement right to the to the lower level down to the parking garage area you blow you blow out the parking garage columns it still connect this this decking this whole this what foxy oh front oh, my man's here okay all right guys so look I gotta go I just got some company. A little surprise. So uh, this is the story of two buildings, and enjoy. Um, you, you, so I talked to you about how you can kill it with the spans. Let me let me go and take a run, and we'll talk soon.